Rangers are back home to take on the Cleveland Guardians, a team that is in first place in the Central Division. You have two teams now, Mac, that are ready to turn things around and prove a little something today. And it'll be Michael Lorenzen, who will be the Chevy Network dealer starting pitcher for the Rangers. You can see he's two and two with a 466 ERA in his career. He's two and two, but in his two starts, he's pitched very well against him. Freeman five for 14 in his young career against these Texas Rangers. Well, there is strike three called right on the outside corner and Freeman retired. It took a lot of pitches nine but they got him. Can't ever question the toughness of Andre Jimenez. He fouled the ball off his right knee yesterday. And he missed with that. That's a four pitch walk. Jimenez is on. Jimenez has five stolen bases. Jose Ramirez batting left handed. There goes the runner. The pitch is taken. The throw by Jonah on the money and he got him. Corey Seager digs that low throw out of the dirt at second base and Andre Jimenez has been caught stealing. Here's the 2 2 and a shot right up the middle but Seager was right on the edge of the line. Jose beats it out. Yeah Seager bobbled it. That's all it took in the transfer. He didn't get it out cleanly the first time and he didn't realize how fast Jose is getting down the line. He ends up beating it out. Here's Naylor left handed slugging first baseman. Ramirez runs, pitches down and in. No chance to get him here. And that'll be a steal for Jose, his sixth on the year. Well, let's, there you go. You got to jump on him. He looks back. He knows that he took the pitch and he beats the throw, slides to the outside part of the bag. And that's in the air, left field. Durand coming in, Seeger going out. Seeger takes control. And that ends the inning. So the Guardians leave a man, and now the Rangers come to bat. Their starting pitcher for. The Guardians tonight by be making his uh, ninth start. Two and one record, 491 ERA. Marcus Simeon named the American League Player of the Week. Right back to Tanner. And he'll take it himself, flip it over to Josh one down. Here's Corey Seeger. Weak ground ball here. And Jimenez can take his time, throw him out, two down. Bring up Nathaniel Lowe. Takes the swing and sends one sky high to shallow center. Charging in is Freeman. He'll make the catch. How about that inning for Tanner Bybee? Travis Jankowski will lead off. He's the DH. He's the guy with the flowing locks. Here's the pitch. And strike three called. Wow. <laughs> Jankowski looking at the home plate umpire Mark Wagner as if to say, huh? Brings up Ezekiel Duran. Swing and a miss. Bybee strikes on Duran. Two down. And he's perfect through two and two thirds here as that brings up Leody. Tavares. And the 2 2. Swing and a little soft fly ball to left coming in toward the line. Florial now almost overran it and had to jump up and catch it. That turned into an adventure. Two down, and here's Nathaniel Lowe. He flied out to short center his first time up. One and one. Lowe a swing, and there's a smash toward short. Diving stop on the backhand side by Rocchio. Gets up and throws, and Naylor can't handle it in between up. So Lowe is safe. And we'll see how Steve Weller scores that. It was a spectacular get by Rocchio, diving to his right on the outfield turf. So that's the first hit of the game for either club. And now Adolis, who flied to deep center his first time. Here's the pitch. Swung on, foul tip, hung on to by Naylor. That's strike three, and Garcia is retired. So are the Rangers. And there are two outs, and that brings up Travis Jankowski. Jankowski struck out looking his first time. Hits this one over second. That's a base hit. A clean single into right field. And Jankowski with some speed over there at first base now. And so Bybee pitching with a runner on base. Nothing in two. A spin, a throw to first, and he throws it away. And Jankowski heads to second base, and he will stop there. Travis not running real hard there as the ball is retrieved down the right field line in foul territory. Swung on, line to center. Right there, Tyler Freeman. And he makes the catch to retire the side. Something about Michael Lorenzen. 18 innings now, and he's given up one earned run against Cleveland in his start. Tyler Freeman 0 for 2. Four. There you go. The 2 1 pitch finds the hole, and now the Guardians have their first hit of the night. See, that pitch was middle of the plate, so he made a mistake in there, and he took advantage of it. Right back to him, a line drive, and he'll throw to first to complete a double play. That's pretty cool, man. How about that? Line drive right into the glove. He gets a double play. That's hitting into some bad luck. Leoti, a little soft pop up along the left field line in his only at bat. Here hits a little squirter that gets by Ramirez. Rocchio slides to it in shallow left, but can't do anything about it. It's an infield hit, infield outfield hit 
for Leody Tavares as he extends his on base streak to 16 games. Texas finally getting the Tanner Bybee on a base hit and two walks. The bases are loaded for Nick Sandlin, who's been dynamite out of the bullpen. And he's ready to deal him in here to Adolis Garcia. Swing and a miss. Oh, he struck him out. Two downs. There's the start right there. Perfect. Didn't waste any time. And that leaves it up to Josh Smith here. Swung on broken bad roller to the second baseman. Jimenez is going to throw out Smith. The bat went almost as far as the ground ball. What a job by Nick Sandlin. That's down ball four. Make it four walks. Two have been issued to Ramirez. Ramirez running on the first pitch and the throw down is not in time. And somehow Jose held on to the yeah. bag because he went into that thing with a full head of steam. That's his seventh stolen base on the year. Second of the night. One two. And he takes strike three call. And he did not like it. It looked like it might have been a little in but that's the first out of the inning. Down the pitch. Swing and a little bouncer weakly hit the third charged by Smith gloves throws on the run. He got him. Advancing the third is Ramirez but Brennan's out number two. And now Kyle Manzardo looking for his first big league RBI. 2-2. Two -two. And that looked good. Strike three called. Seven shutout innings so far tonight for Michael Lorenzen. We go now to the eighth inning with the Guardians scoreless. Florial ground out strikeout. Swung and drilled to deep right field. Back goes Garcia. Leaps it's over his head. Hits up against the wall. Cams back toward the infield. And Florial has a double. He lined it over the head of the gold glover Adolis Garcia made a leap as he went back but he got burned. Let's see what Bo Naylor is doing. He has lined out to center lined out to left but you've got to find a way to get that guy to third. Here's the 2 2 and a swing and a miss a strikeout of Naylor one away in the eighth. Right now it's Brian Rocchio 0 for 2. Uh -oh, Rocchio it's got to go. Whoops one into center fielder will get down for a base go. hit. They're going to wave him home. Tavares is thrown to the plate. Hit the side of the mound. Yep. Florial scores down to second goes Rocchio. The Guardians catch a break. Tavares throw looked like it was going to be on time but it hit the side of the mound and took a crazy care of. The bullpen woes for Texas continue. Top of the order Tyler Freeman inside he walked him. So Freeman heads to first and Bruce Bochy is going to make another change. The batter will be Andres Jimenez. The pitcher is left hander Jacob Latz. The pitch swing and a line drive to center field. That's another base hit. Rocchio hits third. He'll be stopped. The throw coming to the plate from Tavares but the bases are now loaded and Jose Ramirez is the batter it's swing and a smash up the middle base hit into center field that is going to score Rocchio Freeman right behind him throw to the plate way off mark everybody else moves up a base Guardians lead it three to nothing and runners at second and third with one out as Jose Ramirez comes through with a two run single to center and Naylor will be intentionally walked David Fry now emerging from the dugout to bat with the bases loaded. Ooh, Got him. Did it hit him? No, it just goes to the backstop. Here comes Jimenez to score, and it's a four-run eighth inning for Cleveland. And the three-two pitch is ball four. Wow, what an inning. One ball, two strikes. The pitch swung on, bouncing ball slowly hit the first. Lowe's got it, takes it to the bag himself. That will close out the inning. But 10 men bat for Cleveland, and four of them score. Brian Rocchio, the batter, he got the big RBI single in the eighth inning. Now the pitch swung on a roller, slowly hit the third. Gobbled up by Smith, throws across the body, but no chance to get Rocchio, who has an infield single to third. That is eight walks tonight by Texas pitching. And Andre Jimenez, the second baseman, is coming up. Left handed batter. There's a liner toward left center field. That's in the gap. That's going to get another run home as Rocchio scores into third base is Freeman. And the Guardians increase their lead to 5 0. Jose Ramirez batting left handed. Are they going to pitch to him? Swing and a smash up the middle. Base hit into center field. That'll score Freeman. Here comes Jimenez. They pitch to Jose, giving him four RBIs tonight. 37 on the year and there is no longer any doubt about this baby. I'm 0 for 3. He's the last Texas hope. A weak ground ball to second. Jonah Heim just dropped his head. He barely runs down the line. The Rangers get blanked at home tonight by the Guardians. So their offensive woes continue. 